Nora Snaps Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. We make a lot of cakes on this channel, but to me, I hate making cakes. Like, it looks really weird and awkward every time I bake it. But I love eating them. We have to agree, I suck at making cakes. But hopefully I'm not going to suck when we make homemade sandwiches! When I mean homemade, I mean that I'm going to make the bread from scratch, and I even have some chickens in the backyard that we have to slaughter today, so stay tuned for that. I'm just kidding, I went to the supermarket to get the chicken. I'm not that cool. Oh, I can't wait to tell you, like, some stories when we need the dough, because, like, well, kneading dough is pretty boring, so that's why I thought we could tell some stories at that time. First thing, of course, some plain flour. Imagine if, like, this bread actually turns out amazing, and, like, all the other stuff just beg me to make it again and again. Oh, so it looks like it's gonna be a lot of flour. Uh, this is, like, half a kilo of flour. And then I've got some yeast right here. <laughs> ah! This is not very good. Actually, this is not good at all. It smells, like, too strong or something. It's really weird. I can't describe it. Wait, I'm meant to use milk. Yeah. So we're actually meant to use milk for the recipe. I don't have milk. We're just gonna use water. Because I think milk is like 90% water, so it's fine. Oh my god, I hate pouring water. Oh my god, I hate pouring water. That's the water, and I'm just gonna add the yeast. So it's only seven grams of yeast. Very easy. We quickly dry our spoon because I'm a gangster on my shirt. I actually need 10 grams of yeast. Oh, we're gonna have a very, very Fluffy bread. <laughs> Where's the whisk? I'm having such a bad day today. And like today was going to go perfect because it's going all wrong. I found a baby whisk. So for some reason we did need a bit of sugar in the recipe. I had a bit of second thoughts about what type of recipe I picked. No going back now. Whoa, this is so pretty. So I'm going to add also a lot of salt. Man, this recipe's gonna go so wrong. It's like today's not my day. Like I, I, I can just tell sometimes when like recipe's not gonna work. <laughs> Maybe I might be wrong though. We never know. I might be wrong. Ah, I hate when like I have this feeling. I didn't mean owning a bakery. We yeah, have milk. That's fine. Water ruins the whole recipe. I did say this was a beginner bread recipe. Okay, now we need butter. By the way, what type of recipe is this? Is this like brioche? No, it's a beginner. And I was like, yay, beginner bread recipe, let's do it! And I'm like, huh? What type of bread recipe is this? So I have to blend this in using my fork, but sometimes I think hands are a little better. Let's rub the butter in. Yeah, butter is extremely hard. But luckily, I've had many experiences working with hard butter because I never ever soften it. Once I just break the bigger pieces, it's going to be a lot easier just to blend it in. But the big pieces are very hard. It kind of looks like like feta cheese that's been dried now. If that makes sense. Okay, what else do we need? So I think we need a little bit more stuff still. Printed out the cinnamon roll recipe. I did all that work for nothing. It's because I'm making cinnamon rolls. I can kind of remember the bread recipe that I was meant to do. That's why I was getting so confused. So we need like 500 grams of flour. I can't believe that. We're making cinnamon rolls. Now this is making more sense. It's like three cups of water with the yeast. I'm an idiot. I was like so confused why this was happening. And then like I have a brain wave. So you can do it between honey or sugar to sweeten up your yeast, but I thought honey just like was like cool. Maybe we should freeze it. I had a feeling something was going wrong. You know how I said that? I had a feeling and then like I like like double check the recipe and I'm like holy moly, the cinnamon rolls. We're gonna pour our water mixture in. I honestly cannot believe that. Yeah, this is bread. Now we're making bread. So I added back some more water and now I realize I've got too much water and now I've made like pancake butter. So all we want is like a shaggy dough and then like that's it. It's like so easy. I don't understand like I see pros make bread and they get nothing. They get nothing stuck on their fingers even when it's like even wetter than mine. And then there I am just getting like everything on my fingers. First let's go scrape all this bread off my fingers before we begin because Probably triggering some of you who are really good bread makers. And get a little bit of flour. Hope my hands in it. Like putting on sunscreen when you're ready to go to the beach, but like this time, 
I'm getting ready to knead this flour. I'm gonna try and knead it very professionally. This dough feels like very good. It definitely doesn't feel too wet, but it's not like too dry. It's just like kind of perfect. I wonder if the Nora sounds like my bread that I basically did without the recipe because I couldn't be bothered to go back and get it after I made the cinnamon roll dough. I remember the first time we ever let um, Winky, our puppy dog, off leash. I've done lots of recall training, I was like really excited, and then like he ran towards the dog, and then I was just like that crazy person who was like, Come back! And just like had to go get him. And it just like was a really big part of my self esteem. Isn't that funny? The story is like every time Disney and Chum do something and they lie, his mom says, Did you break the door off the car toy? And they're like, No! And you can just like see it all over their face like they did. Like that's what I think is so cool about having a toddler as your brother or um, sister. Because like they can't fake their emotions. Like I can probably fake my emotions and be happy when I'm really sad, but they just can't. I feel like it's just really nice to see like someone who is so raw in their emotions and not trying to like pretend. It's, it's cool. Ladies, remember how the dough looked at the start? Now, like, look how much, like, smoother it is. We could have been done by now if I didn't start making the cinnamon rolls. I was so confused. I was just like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> we added that much sugar? I was like, hmm, that's not, like, a lot of sugar. I feel like we're making brioche. It's really cool how we can, like, mix flour and water and, like, make, like, a dough. Don't make slime, because you can't eat it. Make dough so you can play with it, but then you can also eat it. What has happened to our dough? Does this happen to your dough when you make bread? It's right the lot. Wow, looks like cheese. Wow. Did I overproof it, Ledges? Does this look like an overproof dough? Now we're just kneading it again and we gotta get our rolling pin and roll it out into a pizza dough. Oh wait, no, this is um this is meant to be bread. It feels nice, like I can shape it, I reckon it'll bake really nice. I think this is going well, like it, you know, it looks like a nice dough. Like, do you think? <laughs> do you think? So I think we're gonna try and do this technique where we like kind of pull some off and then tuck it. So I got a little bit of a bread pan. I feel like it's a bit of a bad shape though, like I've seen bread pans that are a lot more like, not as like, um, the more straight. We're gonna put it in our pan. I think it fits perfectly. I'm just tucking in the edges. It's like I'm making my bed. Look at the bread! <gasps> I'm so proud of myself. Are you? I can't wait to eat this as a sandwich. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm back again. Oh, it's quite steamy. Look at that bread. Oh my goodness. And look at that like nice crack in the middle. It's so amazing. I can't believe I made bread. I can't like, it's actually like looks good to eat. Like I would eat this. It's <laughs> I'm so sorry ladies, but I really just can't wait any longer. I just have to cut it. So I did watch a video saying if you cut it when it's too hot, it's gonna be a little bit wet. But with this piece of bread I have right here, I'm just gonna make something really quick. I'm not gonna make a complete sandwich, it's gonna be actually an open sandwich. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so sick. I'm gonna add a bit of ham. And some Jarlsburg cheese. <gasps> it's our ham and cheese open sandwich. Mmm, this bread literally tastes like it's from a bakery. Well, I had to do a Nutella sandwich because Nutella is my favorite food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ask your mom if you can make this, like she'll probably let you. It's like healthy, it's like goes with everything. Oh, it's just so good. Thank you for coming. Catch me knuckles. Nora Snaps Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. fashion.